The 6.5 is on the road at Lattice's Developer Conference 2023 here in San Jose, California. This is their first developer conference, which both Dan and I believe is a, is a pretty huge milestone, but very coincident with the growth uh, of the company and the expansion of their offerings. It's been a great conference, Dan. Yeah, it has, and it's good to be here on the road at the developer conference and also in the booth, yes. um, you know, getting our hands on. You know, it's always fun to talk to the executives and we do that a lot, but it's also fun to see the technology that's being presented in any given event and have the chance to actually, you know, look in real time. What's the innovation? What's going on? Why does this matter? And I think that's what we're going to do here. Yeah, it's incredible. You know, the flexibility of an FPGA and the amount of applications that it goes into is pretty incredible. And here at the show, there's over 40 demos. And sure, we'd love to go through all 40, but we're not. We're going to go through three really good demonstrations. And we're really, really uh, appreciative to have Deepak here for the second year running here uh, on the 6.5. Deepak, it's great to see you. Great to see you too, Dan, Pat. And yeah, thank you for joining us at uh, you know, the inaugural developer conference. And we have a really exciting lineup of demos here. And uh, yeah, I think we can start, uh, we're gonna be focusing on different applications like AI, security, advanced connectivity. But the one we have here is really more about uh, enabling security applications. So why don't you uh, take us through and show us uh, what you're doing in this first demonstration, Deepak? Sure. So. What we're going to be measuring here is the boot up time of uh, our Avant uh, X FPGA. So we just launched our latest uh, mid-range FPGAs, Avant G and Avant X at the developer conference. And uh, this really shows what the difference in boot up time relative to similar FPGAs from other vendors. Right? And, and why is it important what you're demonstrating for those out there that are watching, You know, why does boot time matter, especially in security applications? It absolutely does, both in security and safety critical applications, right? I think it's just the amount of time it takes for these FPGAs to boot. You really want to be the first one to boot up yes. on the boat and the last one to boot off <laughs> or power off, right? Because the malicious firmware attacks can happen pretty quickly. So yeah. every millisecond counts uh, when it comes to security applications. And uh, you can see here, basically, these are commercially available development boards. And we have uh, uh, Avant X from Lattice, Kintex Ultrascale Plus from uh, AMD, and the Aria 10 GX from Intel. And I'm basically going to just turn or configure each of these on, right? And you can see the amount of time it takes for them to boot up, starting with the Aria 10 GX FPGA. And you can literally see it taking that long, right? 792 milliseconds. That's quite a bit. Uh, and we do the same for the Kintex Ultrascale Plus FPGA, around 260 milliseconds. And the Avant X from Lattice is only 47 milliseconds. And you saw how quickly that booted up. And again, this is uh, really important for security and safety applications. Yeah, when I saw it the first time, Deepak, I said, you know, these are all relatively very small numbers. But you pointed out so eloquently that these are the tiny little gaps that the malicious, that the hackers are looking for when they're trying to find their way in. And so, you know, 47 versus 261 versus 792 can actually be a really meaningful gap. It is, absolutely is. And, and Lattice has a rich uh, history in this space, right? With the, even our uh, small FPGAs, yeah. uh, including the Mark uh, series of FPGAs that uh, are basically the first one to turn on and the last one to turn off. Right. And basically we are bringing all that uh, features and uh, uh, expertise to the mid-range now, right? And basically doing the same for the mid-range FPGAs as well. And I have to ask, what, what contributes to that? Is it architecture? Is it is it the design of the architecture? Is it process technology, uh, Deepak's awesomeness that... Uh, <laughs> that does this like what's the what's the magic blue crystals yeah, here it absolutely is about the optimization of the architecture right so we are focused on uh, modernizing the mid range fpgas from the ground up right and that's really what enables us to uh, uh, achieve these types of uh, innovations right uh, in with the other fpgas it's really more of a waterfall effect right from right. the uh, uh, bigger fpgas but that's really what it comes down to. It is really focusing on optimizing the architecture. And uh, we're going to see some more features as well uh, uh, along with this boot up time. Well, thanks Deepak for showing us this. Let's move on to the next demo. So Deepak, we talked about the multivariant applications that you can have with FPGAs. We're looking at three of those. What are we looking at right now? 
Yeah, so this demo is, is all about advanced connectivity and kind of uh, showcasing the low power benefits of uh, high speed connectivity. Yeah, right. So, what, so what kind of connectivity? Just uh, if I can interject here, educate the audience based on CERTES, right? Yep. Yeah. So we're going to start with uh, taking a look at the signal integrity of the CERTES right. on the Avant XFPGA, yeah. right? So to demonstrate this, that, so real yeah. quick, this yeah. could be USB, it could be PCI, it could be name your name your adventure that you can do exactly. with CERTES. So signal integrity is really important for high speed uh, protocols, right? PCI Express, Ethernet, CPRI, right? Multiple Perfect. different kinds of uh, networking applications. So for that, uh, basically what you see here is a board with the Avant FPGA and it's connected to this oscilloscope okay. and it's basically the same uh, display on the monitor. So I'm going to initiate now the oscilloscope and what you're really seeing is the transmit eye diagram kind of uh, build up on the monitor. And uh, as you can see, it's it's really wide open and uh, it's also the logic levels are very defined, right? So that kind of showcases again the signal integrity features that we have uh, in the CERTES. So things like uh, pre-emphasis and de-emphasis on the transmit side and decision feedback equalization on the receive side to essentially correct for signal right. distortions. What would a, uh, just you can explain to the audience, what would something with a lower degree of signal integrity look like? Would there be a bunch of blue just scattered around? Absolutely, what would it look right? like? So this eye would not be that wide open, right? You, yeah. would, you would see the, uh, quite a bit of signal distortion that has not necessarily been uh, corrected, right? So it's really the equalization uh, capabilities that are built into the CERDES right. that basically take care of those uh, signal distortions. Appreciate that. So that's really more on the signal integrity side, right? And now uh, as we uh, move uh, to this here, right? What we're going to show here is really the power consumption benefits of, again, a CERDES based application. It's uh, high speed ethernet designs. So all three boards are running high speed ethernet designs. So what you're going to see is each of these FPGAs running at the fastest speed ethernet speed, starting with the AMD or the Kintex Ultra Scale Plus from AMD. And you can see it takes close to two watts of power just to have a Ethernet loopback demo, right? And that's running at the 25 gigabits per second. And if we look at the same for the ARIA 10 GX FPGA from Intel, that's only running at 10 gigabits per second, right? So and that's even higher, close to three watts. And then the Avant X FPGA, which is running up to 25 gig Ethernet, is significantly lower, up to 2.7 times lower. So Deepak, you know, as we've asked you on other demos, one of the things I think that we're very interested in is clearly this is good. And in, in a world where everything from sustainability to cost structures are being in, impacted by power consumption, mm -hmm. it's how? So you, you're up there and there's two very formidable companies, very well respected in the industry, um, but you've been able to achieve this. What do you attribute the ability to have such great results when it comes to power at, you know, at, at 25 gigs here? Now, great question, right? It, it's really, again, all about optimization of both the CERDES power as well as the fabric and the architecture uh, of the logic uh, fabric, right? So, because this demo is showcasing both aspects. You have the CERDES running at that speed and you also have the soft implementation of Ethernet running in the, lo in the logic. So it's really optimization of the architecture and CERDES relative to the kind of really older FPGAs, right? I mean, that's the other thing is we are really enabling modern or modernizing the mid-range FPGAs, whereas some of these other FPGAs haven't been refreshed in a while. But these are these companies latest and greatest for this type of application? They are, but again, they, are, they have not necessarily been built from the ground up, right? right. So that's really uh, how we are differentiating. All right, Deepak, let's go on and show us the last demo. Deepak, we really appreciate you taking us through first demo, second demo. Let's get to the third. What do you got here? It looks like a yeah. memory and power. Absolutely, yeah. Now, this one's all about uh, enabling energy efficient memory transfer. So really in a lot of edge AI applications, right? Uh, power consumption is really critical for kind of battery operated and also industrial applications. Took us three, Pat, to, I get, know, to, an to, AI, I to know. get to an AI demo. That's good. That's right, saving the best for the last. Uh, 
And uh, yeah, lots of uh, developers, right? I think they, they've all given us feedback that you know, one of the largest uh, components of power consumption in AI applications is around the memory transfer from the external uh, DRAM into the FPGA, right? So that's really what we're going to showcase here uh, in terms of uh, similar, again, uh, uh, commercially available development boards, right? So starting with uh, the Kintex Ultrascale Plus FPGA from uh, AMD, you can see uh, the total uh, power consumption of the memory subsystem. Right? It's uh, greater than two watts. You can look at the same for the ARIA 10GX, close to three watts. And uh, for Avant G, which is again up to 2.8 times lower. Right? Uh, and that's really important uh, for AI applications. And Deepak, just a, a similar to the other question, th these are the latest and greatest FPGAs you can get from AMD uh, and Intel. Is that right, that people would use in these types of applications? In this class of mid-range FPGAs, yes. I understand. No, I appreciate that. And the technical audience understands the benefits of, of why this would be important. But, but what does this mean? Does this mean better battery life? This means um, you know, less requirement for current in? Uh, to let's say a car or something like this? Exactly, right? So a number of different applications could be industrial robots, right? That could be battery operated, mm -hmm. could be automotive applications. It definitely kind of cuts down one of the uh, highest components of power consumption, which is around the memory transfer, right? So definitely helps in multiple different uh, edge AI applications. Right, and this is a really important uh, given the scale right of edge ai applications like you're showing in a very you know limited demo but when you're talking about multiple uh you know multiple systems at scale lots of processing this becomes economically very important and also you know when it comes to companies that are trying to meet their goals when it comes to things like sustainability these numbers really start to matter are you seeing that or are customers giving you that kind of feedback Absolutely, they are, right? So they, they do care about every milliwatt of yeah. power consumption in these applications. And uh, again, we are bringing a lot of that kind of uh, innovation into the mid-range now. And uh, in this particular example, actually, the Avant GFPGA is the only FPGA in this class that actually supports low-power DDR4 memory interface, yeah. right? Uh, and, and that really, again, uh, is one of the reasons why we, uh, it's enabling this kind of power savings. This is great. So Deepak, uh you showed us a couple of things here. You've shown the multivariate application of your FPGAs. Uh, you've ponied up with your latest and greatest, uh, which is is Avant. And I appreciate that. Now you're you're showing this is three of forty uh, right. demonstrations that we're seeing from you uh, and your partners here. And I just want to appreciate you walking us through that and uh, dealing with uh, uh, some of our questions here. So I appreciate that. No, thank you, thank you. And uh, uh, you know, like you rightly mentioned, right? There's a lot more demos, forty plus demos, not just from Lattice, but our broader ecosystem as well. And uh, all those videos are available on the Lattice Developer Conference portal online. So, and uh, Deepak, do you know uh, where our audience can, can can log in and get that? Yeah, no, that's basically our Lattice website, right? So right on the Lattice website, you will see the registration uh, portal. And uh, we have a lot more demos and a lot of uh, different applications there. That's great. So this is the second year in a row here, Deepak. Let's, uh, we're interested in what you have for next year. Thank you very much. Looking forward to it. Thank you. You got it. So the 6.5 on the road here in the booth at uh, Lattice Semiconductor Developer Conference uh, 2023 in San Jose, California. Uh, we appreciate you tuning in. Check out all of our 6.5 content uh, for Lattice and other folks that we have interviewed on stage, in the booth, on the road, uh, pretty much everywhere. So for Dan and Pat, we appreciate you. Hit that subscribe button and tell all your friends and family about the 6.5. Appreciate you and take care.